It's been two years since Abdel Fattah Sisi assumed the presidency. He took over after two uprisings that have hit the country hard. Sisi embarked on an economic reform program. Reducing subsidies has not been popular with Egyptians, but he said it's inevitable. The cost of electricity, for example, is higher than the price people get. The prices are highly subsidized. If we have enough money, we would have kept the subsidies, but we don't. What I think Egyptians should do is utilize their consumption. It should be in our culture, just like many countries. Rich countries utilize their consumptions. Egyptians should do the same. Sisi highlighted the multiple mega-projects achieved in two years. Projects such as the Suez Canal, road systems, cultivating four million fedans, housing for the poor, electricity and the new capital. He says these projects employ millions and are improving the people's standard of living. But terror is a main threat to Egypt and the region. The president said Egypt's military is gaining ground in the war on terrorism. There are big changes taking place. The problems are now in the small area bordering Gaza, around 2% of the total area of Sinai. Sinai is huge, 60,000 square kilometers. We will end it in two years. In foreign policy, the president pointed out that unlike his predecessors, the current policy is one of good relations with all sides, not only the West. He also explained that the Palestinian issue should be addressed immediately. The president did not touch on important issues, such as the Egypt airplane crash or Ethiopia's Renaissance Dam. And he was not asked about fighting terrorism in neighboring countries such as Libya. I am convinced that we can achieve peace for the Palestinians, and it's important that all sides have the same conviction. Forty years ago, we made peace because we were convinced we can do it. Now, too, we are working slowly on bringing peace and a state for the Palestinians. If we are able to do it, then the whole region will be netted off. Assisi noted that when he took over in 2013, his main aim was to prevent Egypt from falling into chaos, as in Syria, Iraq and Libya. He feels he has succeeded, but he sent a final message to Egyptians. Egyptians must withstand the tough circumstances we are in and not allow anyone to divide them. To succeed, what they need is unity, patience and hard work. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.